Alright, so what we're going to do today, we're going to go ahead and change the Windows 7 boot animation. So when it's starting up and the Windows logo appears, the four different colors, um, and they come together and it says starting Windows, we're going to change that. Um, now, I've already got the file that I want here. I downloaded it. Um, so you can either download you know an animation which is what I did or you can also you know make your own uh, like a picture a static picture or you know make your own background whatever you want to do so first we're gonna go uh, follow the link in the description it'll bring you to this page here and you can just browse through the art um, we'll go down to the one that I downloaded that I want to install on this computer because I've never had a red one this one right here so all you do is click on it You'll download it. It'll be uh, you know, it'll be zipped up, so you'll have to open it. Uh, I use pzip uh, to open all my files, so you'll open that. Um, you know, whatever file you choose, the download button's always going to be over here. That way, you don't you know, click on something you're not supposed to. Um, and then once you extract it, ex just extract it to the desktop, or you know, make a folder in your documents or something, and you'll get this .bs7 file. So, um, what we're going to do next, go ahead and download the Windows 7 boot updater that is provided in the description as well. Now, what you want to start off by doing, if you're going to do it the way that I am, where you're loading a skin that's already created, um, well, you know, the animation portion of the skin, um, just go up here to File, and open it. We're going to go find the BS7 file, Open and then see it's added right there we'll go ahead and play it really quick it'll be a little laggy in this screen but so that's what it'll look like now I also you can also I mean yeah you can change your background to anything you want you know, white and then if you want your whole background, you know, one color, you just got to do that, edit both of those colors. I, however, I'm going to leave it black. I, I think red and black is going to look pretty sweet, so. Leave it as simple. If you want to do complete, you can add your own background image in and whatnot, but I'm just going to leave it black. So, for the count here, none will get rid of, you know, starting Windows in the Microsoft Corporation. So, none, and then one, just Microsoft. Two is the starting windows. So actually I'm gonna leave that in there. We'll start off with this message one. There you go. Font color red. Now for the position I'm gonna put mine at a hundred, which brings it up to the top of the screen here and uh, just do that make sure oops wrong one my bad that one's 700 with a font size of 24 do not hit the apply button down here until you're done if you hit the apply button it's gonna save it as it is and that's what it'll boot up to so I have it how I want it here so starting windows we're gonna change that to red Now this one is where I want it to be 100, with a font size of about 35. And I think it looks pretty decent. It's readable, so. Um, now as far as resuming goes, um, leave it simple. I'm going to leave the animation the same. Same, you know, count there for the two messages. So for the first message, we're going to do the H4CK Gaming Corporation Red 724 Message 2, Resuming Windows, right, meow. Font color, red. Position. 100 font size 35 so that is basically it right there um, 
now if you for some reason you know you do this whole deal you know you make all this you don't like it you can always come back and edit it um, when you're done hit save boot skin as that way it saves it you can always load that boot skin go ahead and edit it and then reapply it if you don't like it if you want it back to the you know the OEM settings the factory settings it makes a backup when you apply this it backs up you know the previous um, the OEM screen I guess you'd say just click restore backups so um, other than that we'll go ahead we will press apply and then we'll just kind of sit here and wait a wee bit. And there it goes. And while that's doing it, I'm just going to go just kind of check out. I mean, yeah, if you want to have, you know, the Windows 8 logos, those are all on here. Hell, it even goes back to, I think, Windows 95 they have on here. Um, that's kind of cool. That's actually really cool. That's a really cool one. So anyways, successfully updated the boot animation and text. So I'm going to go ahead, we'll stop this video, um, and then boot up the computer and take a look. So here's what it's going to look like, basically. So will just load up like that, and then, uh, you know, once it's done, it'll just boot into your regular logon screen. And right before that, um, my hard drive crashed on my desktop like a month and a half, two months ago, so I had to put a new one in it, and um, never got around to re-editing the um, lock screen, the splash screen, whatever you want to call it, um, the blue back here. Uh, I also have a video on how you can change that. You go into the registry, you just edit one, you know, one value, and then you just go back and... Um, go into your system 32 settings and edit just a couple of things and you've got it but anyways we'll go ahead and stop this alright so we're gonna go ahead we're shutting it down now so it can restart <laughs> and then uh... should be changed And there you have it. It is now edited to whatever you put it as. And remember, keep the backup in a safe place. I actually, I would recommend maybe putting it on an external flash drive or something. It's a pretty small file, so it won't interfere with you know, anything. But anyways, guys, um, that's the video.